You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Dark skies this afternoon over Shasta County as the rain heads our way. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff tracking our forecast on this evening. Jason, when can we expect it to reach the valley? Yeah, I think we're going to have a lot of rain in the valley late tonight. You may hear it on your roof or your windows this evening, but especially overnight tonight through early tomorrow morning. But that cold front hasn't gotten here yet. It is only 34 degrees in Mount Shasta. It's down to 49 already in Redding, but the high today was only 53, about 6 degrees cooler than average. Currently 53 degrees in Red Bluff and 54 degrees in Chico. So looking at our satellite and radar composite, you can see that cold front draped across northwestern California, already bringing the rain and snow mixes to Siskiyou County and far northern Trinity County. But the entire system will march across our region from northwest to southeast through the overnight hours through the first half of Thursday. By 9 o'clock tonight, we'll have some foothill rain. Not much in the valley just yet, but some spotty showers. Plenty of snow already falling in the mountains. That'll spread toward the Sierra by midnight tonight. We'll have a better chance for foothill rain as well as rain around the Chico area. Oroville, same thing for Redding and getting closer to Red Bluff. Then by 3 in the morning, a good chance for heavier rain for the valley as well as the foothills. Areas around the ridge, Megalia, Paradise, Concow, good chance for some heavier rain there and more snow for the Sierra. By 6 in the morning, we still have plenty of rain for the eastern half of the valley and the foothills but the rain starting to clear out of the western part of the valley. So we'll actually have some sun breaks at times for the afternoon hours for northern parts of the valley. We'll have more snow, though, for the plateau and the Sierra, and then becoming showery by Thursday evening. But with the clearing of that sky, Friday morning is going to be a lot colder for everyone. Sub-freezing temperatures for the valley, certainly in the mountains where we have that snow-covered ground, and we'll have a partly cloudy sky on Friday. So I'm going to show you the rain and snowfall totals for just the first storm. We have two storms moving our way. The first one will be getting here tonight and lasting through late Thursday into early Friday. And I stopped it at three or at eight o'clock Thursday morning, not too far from now. But look how much of that rain we've already received. Most of it has already fallen by 8 a.m. Reading almost an inch of rain over an inch around Chico and piling up around the foothills. You notice not much more for the valley after 8 a.m. But the mountains will still get some more snow. Speaking of that snow, a good chance for the higher elevations to receive over two feet of snow but we're going to have most of that done by noon. A brief break from the activity. Friday will be a partly cloudy sky, and then the next storm gets here Saturday and Sunday. In our next half hour, I'm going to show you how much rain and snow we can get from that too, so it's going to be an active weekend for us. Now also the wind. You're going to notice that wind blowing all those leaves around. They're going to get wet from the rain, and we're going to have a mess on the ground. Make sure you drive carefully. Wet valley roads, snowy mountain roads, mountain transportation will not be recommended because we're going to have a lot more snow for the highest mountain passes. So please keep that in mind and stay safe on the roads as we head through the next several days. So we have our winter storm warnings out through Friday morning at 10 a.m. between one and three feet of snow possible. And again, that's just the first storm, another storm moving our way for this coming weekend, which I'll show you coming up in the next half hour. Lows tonight will be in the 20s in the mountains with 30s and 40s for everyone else for the foothills in the valley, but the highs won't be much warmer. We'll have some sun breaks at times. Highs, though, only in the lower 40s in the valley with 30s and 40s in the higher terrain. Next seven days in Chico, we'll have the morning rain and wind and we'll have some afternoon sunshine. Another good chance for rain over the weekend. Daytime highs will be in the 40s and lower 50s. And for the Redding area, we'll have a good chance for rain and wind tonight through early tomorrow morning. Saturday and Sunday, it is possible to have snow mixed with that rain in the morning. So make sure you drive carefully. Thanks, Jason.